as of this posting, sorry, as of this recording, there isn't any official news on the matter, but a lot of speculation that uh, Terminator Genesis is to be PG-13. An R-rated franchise had a PG-13 out and last time everybody hated it. Let's go back to what didn't work. But let me ask you this, what, suppose they were shooting the movie in pg 13 ification mode, a la Expendables 2, and like Expendables 2, add terrible blood through CGI to give it the R rating. Would you prefer that, or would you rather not have to see terrible effects mar every scene of action? I mean, already we see how clean the Terminator is with broken up skin, hardly any blood. It's just like there's, you know, exposed alloy underneath his, his skin right there. You know, a lot of PG-13, I've said this before, it relies on the premise that you don't see what's graphic. Using the example again, Joker pops up with the shotgun, boom, fires. We assume he shot a cop in the face at point blank range. We don't see what actually happened. Is that the best way to make a Terminator movie though? When the IP is uh, gory, has is known for being rated R, you want to water it down thinking that's what the audience wants? You're no longer catering to your audience. You're not really expanding to meet a new one. You're just watering it down. And that's a big problem with PG-13. They're taking the R IPs, the R franchise, and they're watering it down to try to be PG-13 instead of taking a PG concept and bumping it up to be like rated R but kind of sneaking in and getting the PG-13. That's what PG-13 was supposed to be about, guys. You know, looking, looking at more of an analogy here, Volkswagen makes a GTI and a Golf R, only available in four doors. And